I'm Mike Jones. I'm the director of the General John A. Logan Museum here in Murfreesboro, Illinois. This exhibit was taken from an 1884 political cartoon. Logan was running for vice president on the Republican ticket, and uh, the paper wanted to remind people that 20 years ago, 25 years ago, he had not been the same man he was today, and that they should therefore think before they voted for him. Uh, we use it because it tells a story very quickly. It tells about Logan the racist, and it tells about his attitude toward African Americans. An attitude developed without really knowing any African Americans, which is an interesting story in itself. And when kids come in to, to see this one, you could ask them, now how do you think Logan felt about these poor slaves who had escaped? And I mean, if you look at his eyes, you can see how he feels about these people who were now captured after they had gotten away. Logan had no problem in doing the dirty work of the Democratic Party, as they call it, they earned the name Dirty Work Logan for this by sending these people back to their masters. But I think the most amazing thing about Logan is this is a man who started out holding extremely racist views about African Americans, and in the end, he becomes a champion of African American civil rights and is supported in his bid for the presidency by Frederick Douglass. That's the really interesting story.